Passenger Transport Service and Trade Company, Tiranka Ship, invites you to watch the English version of the film. The Mysteries of Elblong Canal How the water carries the vessels The first inclined planes allowing inland vessels to cross the hills between reservoirs with different water levels were already used in ancient China. Inclined planes with dry ridges were used on the waterways of Western Europe as early as in the 12th century. Their disadvantage was the difficulty in overcoming the ridge of the ramp because when crossing the top of the hill the vessel was supported crosswise in the central part of the hull only, which could lead to the break. Such accidents occurred quite often. It happened similarly during vessel surfacing and immersing. The initial design of the Oberland Canal did not anticipate the construction of inclined planes, but only the previously known locks. Georg Stenke, who was commissioned the construction of the canal, was familiar with the inclined planes existing at that time, all driven by horses or steam engines. As he saw it, they had too many flaws. When the news about the Morris Canal built in the USA reached Europe, Stenke went there immediately. Unfortunately, after being acquainted with the details of the construction, he returned home disappointed with the lack of ready-made solutions. During the long sea voyage to Europe, he watched the ship sliding down the crests of waves and came up with a solution, brilliant yet simple. He sketched the most important elements of design. The vessel enters one of the trolleys, being tied to its construction. There is a gong on the trolley, which the crew hits to signal readiness for passage. The signaller on the peak of the hill sees both trolleys very well. After receiving the signals from both sides, he passes the signal to the engine driver. Now the engine can start. The engine driver sets the right direction and water tumbles, wheels start. Water from the upper reservoir flows to the compensatory reservoir, as wide as a water wheel, from where the engine driver lets it out to set the water wheel in motion. Slowly at first, then gradually accelerating. A specially constructed water wheel, different from all the others used so far, is the driving element. On its circuit it has diagonal pockets, each of which has the capacity to hold three tons of water. The weight of water turns the wheel until the moment the water pours out from the pocket. Such a solution allows very precise rotation speed control and the transfer drive so that the trolley moves really slowly.
great water wheel has a gear on the inner surface, which transmits drive to the main shaft. The driving machine is connected to a water wheel by a switch allowing to change the direction of motion. In the neutral position, even if the water wheel is rotating, the engine and trolleys are at standstill. Through successive gears, water powers the drum with thick cable wire. The drum surface is spirally grooved, so when turning, it unwinds one end of the cable wire and winds the second one in its place. The rotating drum loosens and stretches the cable wire at the same time. Through systems of signs on the drum, the place free of the cable wire shows the engine driver the location of trolleys, allowing precise control of the entire mechanism. The wire cable goes from the engine through the reversible wheels towards the two trackways on which the trolleys are moving. The wire cables are attached on both ends of each trolley and set on the support wheels. On the bottom position the cable wire returns so as to move both trolleys at the same time. When trolleys are close to the water, the driver runs band brake, thus significantly reducing their speed. In America, Stenka saw ships braking when emerging from water with the bow propped upon the trolley and with their stern still in water. He saw the complicated units constructed to prevent this from happening. He saw it all and he sought for a simpler solution. And he found it. Perfect. Here is the most important of Georg Stenke's ideas hidden under water and generally unavailable. It is the construction of the trolley wheels. Wheels with two-way running track and double rails in the underwater. Thanks to them, before the platform enters water, the trolley is leveled and the whole ship uniformly emerges from and immerses in water. No threat. The cycle ends with the trolleys stopping. Thanks to the marks on the drum, on the button. You just learned the two greatest mysteries of Album Canal, two most important ideas of Georg Jakob Stenke. One was the introduction of water power, cheap and reliable, and thanks to the application of the unique solutions, the water wheel with diagonal pockets. Second, brilliantly simple and effective, was the additional rail system hidden under water, on the bottom position inside and on the upper one outside the rails. Wheels with dual tracks compatible with rails allow to carry even 30 meter long vessels without damage. Both solutions were combined in the design of the inclined plane. They replaced the system of more than 30 locks for operating of which there wouldn't probably be enough lake water in dry years. Search for next secrets with Bosmina. The film has been made by the Navicula Society of Elblom Canal admires, with the financial support of the local government of the Varmia Mazuria province. We'd like to thank the directorate and the employees of the regional water management authorities in Gdańsk for helping us to make this film. Special thanks go to the owners and the employees of the passenger transport service and trade company Tsiranka Ship. This film wouldn't have been made without your help. Translation Anna Dlewska, Katarzyna Czajkowska. Narrated by Janusz Kowarski. The 
Navicular Society of Elblom Canal admires permits unrestricted copying and reproducing of the whole Mysteries of Elblom Canal series. Copying fragments and reproducing them in other products requires author's permission.